Hey guys. Yeah, it's me. And oh boy, do I have a video for you guys today. Yes, I do. So what I got for you is I got a video that, uh, well, I just want, I just thought maybe it might be fun to, uh, you know, go check it out and see what it's all about. It's called the Silent Hill 2 Story Trailer PS5 Games. And yes, you can find this on the PlayStation YouTube channel, by the way, if you're interested. And by the way, the trailer came out only today, so I thought maybe, just maybe, we could go check it out, see what it's about. Ready? Okay. Yes. And yes. And good. And... Well, I guess with no further delay, let's go check it out. Three. Two. As much as I don't want to do this. One. And I'm going to regret doing this, but here we go. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Konami Digital Entertainment. Konami, I think you, me, and Bloober Team need to have a little sit-down and chat after this video is over. And talk about some things that are about to happen in the video. Okay. Did you guys hear that? When when Mary or Maria said James? Did she sound anything like, you know, like she's actually putting some energy into her, into her performance? No. She sounds like she's literally just reading like, James. Honey. Honey. Okay. Bloomer team. This right here is one, the th is one of the things that you really, really should not have. This is why you guys should have not messed with this. And yes, I said Bloober team, B L O O B E R. That way, just in case if it you know mixes up what I said with like blooper or blubber or any of that crap, at least you know what word I actually said, which is bloober. You know, blue, like as in the character from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, blue, but add the letters B E R, and there you go. So, okay, Blooper Team, or Konami, or whoever is in charge of the character design in this, what is this? What is this right here, huh? What am I looking at right now? Huh? I'm looking at Mary, or Maria. Right? Right? <laughs> no. No, I'm not. What I'm looking at is a ripoff, is a ripoff of the original character. And the original character was, yes, she was kind of one-dimensional, the original. I'll admit that. But at least the voice actress was putting in some god energy into her, into her performance. This Mary, or Maria, or whoever she's supposed to be, is literally reading her lines like she's, ha like she's half asleep. Really? She's reading her lines like, like this is the first time she's ever learned how to speak. Or like she, or like she's not even trying to put in any energy into her performance. Bloober team, do you now see why you should not 
have been in charge of making this mess? Or what Konami should have done, and this and this would have been the, uh, you know, smarter thing to do, is maybe make it so that way the original Silent Hill 2 could be played on a PS5. And then, problem solved. At least then you'd get a performance that sounds, you know, like the person's actually giving a damn. Whereas this Mary, or Maria, or whoever she's supposed to be, really doesn't sound like she gives a damn at all. First of all, really, really, Konami, Bloober Team, whoever's in charge of the of the, fa- of the character design, really, really, you guys, really, you really couldn't have, you know, thought maybe, maybe, just maybe, it might be a good idea to just import the original game over from the PS2 to PS5. And allow people to actually buy that? (sighs) Whatever. This is ridiculous. Really? Oh my god. You couldn't even get the most basic scene in the game right. The scene where literally Mary is asking James if he's taping again, you couldn't even get this right? Maybe this is why people are finally starting to realize that nonsense like this doesn't work anymore. Yeah, maybe this is why. And really... James, honest to God, looks like looks like a younger Leon Kennedy before he joined the Special Forces or whatever it is he joined in Res- in Resident Evil Two, the original one, not the remake. Ugh, this is terrible. Okay, Bloober Team, this is the other thing that I think we re- we really need to sit down and talk about. Okay, Bloober Team, you want to answer me? You want to answer me one question? Just what? It's all I have. Who the hell is that? Who the hell is that? Is that Eddie from Silent Hill Two? Is that really Eddie? In your in your in you guys' idea. First of all, Bloober Team, Konami, whoever the character design was, can you please pay attention to one simple detail? The detail being, this is not Eddie. Eddie in this scene looks like he's looks like he's lost his mind. He looks crazy. In this, he looks like he looks like he's barely awake and looks like he barely cares anymore. And whoever the voice actor was that was reading these lines, good lord, good lord, who's the who is reading these lines? As I know, as I know, it ain't the same voice actor. I'll tell you that much. My God, people, if you buy this game, please, somebody, I'm begging you, please, somebody, fix this trailer, please. That way you actually get the dialogue to sound correct. My God, the dialogue in this trailer sounds, honestly, God, the voice actors sound like they're Sound like they're reading their lines when they're barely awake. Really, really, Konami, Blue Team, or whoever the character design was, really, this is the best you could do for Eddie. 
This is the best you could do. You couldn't really just, you know, again, maybe import the original game over from PS2 to PS5. You really couldn't do that? Really? Or you couldn't just make the original game playable on PS5? If you couldn't do that, then here's an idea. Why didn't you try to get the original team back who worked on the original game? My God, is it really that hard? No, it is not. I don't know if all of them are still around. Why does Eddie, why does Eddie right here, guys, look, look at it, look at his eyes. I mean, honest to God, with his eyes right here, and I, and honestly, it looks, looks like he's not, looks like he's not crazy. He looks, he looks bored. He looks like he's bored out of his mind. Like he has no idea what he's actually, no idea where he actually is, and no idea what he's actually doing. And yes, we've already seen Laura, so no, nothing to say. No. Oh my god. Really, really, kiddo, really. Really. Oh my god. Oh my. Okay, Bloober Team or Konami or whoever the character, whoever the character design was in this game, can you please, for the love of God, please explain to me and to the world what were you thinking, making this game look like this? You couldn't even get you couldn't even get it right here. Really? And yes, again, I'm gonna say it again, people. James in this game looks like a younger Leon Kennedy. I'm not kidding. He looks like a younger Leon Kennedy from the original Resident Evil 2. Really? Really? I mean, guys, my God. It is so obvious. Bloober Team did not take the time and the effort to make this good. They did not. And if anyone says, oh, but they did. Prove it. Then prove they actually, then prove that, then prove to me and to the world that these people actually gave a fuck about it. Because no, they did not. People, this is not how you do a remake. No. Konami, Bloober Team, if you're going to do something then you have got to do it right. This is not how you do it, people. I'm sorry. It just isn't. Really? Oh, my God. See, guys, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is why this is why this project never should have fallen into the hands of a blooper team ever because they don't know they don't know when to stop. They know when to start, but they don't know when to stop. Okay. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this, and I hope you did enjoy this little rant, I, and I hope you guys did. <sighs> then, you know, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. 
share the video around if you want to for those who need for those who wish to see leave your thoughts in the comments down below of course and my friends do not forget to subscribe for more of me and these videos you shall see anyway by the way this is going to be both a rant and a reaction video to the trailer okay so now that the rant's done let's do the reaction video all right now Alright. Okay. Yes, I know. Konami Digital Entertainment. Oh, boy. Okay. Konami, please understand. This, this trailer really shows why Bloober Team should not have handled this at all. It's why. Jane? Honey? Did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Okay. Okay, whoever's doing the voice act who are the voice actor for Mar the voice actors for Mary is in this in this game? Here's an idea. Could you maybe try putting in try putting in something in your performance? A little thing called enthusiasm. It's a little enthusiasm. Just a little, just a little enthusiasm. Is that really so much to ask? Oh my god! Are you confusing me with someone else? Are you really trying? Your lady, because I don't think you really are. No, I don't. You were always so forgetful. Yeah, and I guess, and I guess, wait, could this, could, could this dialogue right here be actually be shots at Bloober Team or Konami based on the fact that this franchise has kind of fallen into disrepair? Since like two thousand and four, I think it was, with Silent Hill four. Ever since then, the franchise has kind of been going in this direction. People been heading downwards. Yes, it has. Remember that time in the hotel? Yeah, you remember? Remember when you actually remember when Mary in the original actually sounded like you know. She actually gave a damn. And you frankly sound bored out of your mind. Yeah. Yes. Yes, he is. You love it in Silent Hill. A town which has been... A town which is abandoned... For no, for some reason. And you're hoping James will bring you back there again someday. Sure, why not? Peaceful. Lady, are we talking about the same Silent Hill here? Because the Silent Hill in Silent Hill 2 is not peaceful, not by any means. Maybe in Laura's version, yes it is. Wait, I just, re I just realized something. Go with me on this, guys. Go with me on this, okay? Okay, you know how in Laura's version of Silent Hill... She, when she first meets James, he, she literally has no scratches, no bruises, nothing. What if Laura's version of Silent Hill is one where everything is peaceful, and yet to everyone else, it's, it's a, it's a nightmare that there's no, that there's no escape from. It's just thought. 
it's just a thought as to why as to why Laura in in the original has no has no bruises, no scratches, no nothing on her. Yet everyone else who sees them, every everyone else who is there, was drawn there. Which which does bring up another question: Why was Laura drawn there in the first place? I mean, did she? come there because she did something wrong did she go there because because of a family member i honestly don't know if any of you guys know why do feel free to let me know because i don't know Uh uh-huh guys i may be my hearing may not be it may not be as sharp as it once was, but was that the was that the original voice of Mary I just heard? Say in my restless dreams I see that town. I swear this has either gotta be the original Mary, the original voice actor for Mary, or it's gotta be the one they used, but she's actually putting in some some effort. Gotta be. In your special place. Which, by the way, we never fought. Guys, am I wrong here when I say that their special place is never determined? Like, they never say where it is? Has anyone who's played the original know the answer to this question? Because I haven't a clue, guys. I I humbly admit I I have not played the original Silent Hill two, so I don't know. Really. Okay, okay. This mess. Okay. Konami, Blue Team, whoever whoever the character designer was that's work that worked on this game. Can you please, please, can you please explain to me and to the world, what is this? No, really, what is this right, what is this right here? Is this really Eddie from Silent Hill 2? The character who, if I remember, who, if I remember right or recall, or maybe this has been changed, maybe this info has been changed, was was supposed to be like a a cheerful, happy, happy-go-lucky character originally. At least I think that's what they originally going for. Okay. Okay. If that's what you guys want to go with. Now, I'm not going to stop you. I can't stop you. I'm just simply saying... Konami, Bloober Team, I'm just simply saying here... Maybe you guys should do this little thing that you guys haven't been doing this entire time. Listen to the fans. The people who know this game inside and out, and people who actually want to play it. Maybe you guys should do that thing that's called listen. Listen to feedback. Take it in. And implement it. And again, take in all feedback, not just positive feedback, negative feedback too. You have, you have, see guys, again, it's like I've said before, you can't have, you can't have the positive without the negative. You have to have both in order, in order to be, in order to be successful. 
you have to know what you're doing right with what's going with what's gone wrong. You take you take what has gone wrong, and you do the opposite, and I almost guarantee it's going to turn into a positive. And yes, we've already seen Laura, so there's really no need to say anything about her. Again, which does bring up a good point that I keep, that I keep thinking about. And I probably already mentioned in the rant part of this video, but how did Laura get to Silent Hill in the first place? That part has never been explained ever. It's never been explained. And if any of you guys know why, feel free to let me know because I don't have a clue. And again, guys, guys, Am I wrong here when I say that James looks like a younger Leon S. Kennedy from the original Resident Evil 2? Yeah, I mean, am I wrong here when I say that? But, James, as you know... There's no escape from the from Silent Hill. Once it's got its once it's got its hooks into you, you ain't getting out, buddy. Again, look right here, guys. Look, James in this in this scene looks like a younger Leon Kennedy. I'm not I'm not even kidding about this, you guys. I'm not kidding. I mean, is that what... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just thought of, I just thought of something. Go with me on this, guys. Go, go with me on this. What if Konami... Oh, my God, if I'm right. Oh, shit. Did they actually do it? Go Again, go with me on this, guys. What if what if Konami and Bloober team talk to someone at Capcom and they're using some of the ideas from the engine of, of the of the remakes of Resident Evil 2, 3, and 4? It's the only ex, it's the only logical explanation I can come up with. You guys got a better theory? I'm all ears to hear it. Yeah, because Okay, yes. Okay, yes. I'll give you guys this trailer looks looks okay, but Konami Bloober team, I think maybe we do need to have a little talk, a little chat. Now again. Okay, I can understand, you know, Angela, James, and Mary or Maria being there, and Eddie, but Laura? That's the one part, that's the one thing I've never understood about, about Silent Hill 2. What is Laura doing there when she's just a kid? When she's just a kid of only eight years old, so she hasn't really had a lot of time to do something wrong. That I never understood. Yeah. And... Oh, boy. And there you go, James. There you go, pal. Okay. Why does Maria in this, in this trailer... Look, honest to God, like she looks like she's only looks like she's half asleep and half awake. If you get what I mean. In the original, she looked like she looked like she was about looked like she wanted to flirt or have a, have a good time or maybe have James let her out.
I don't get it.